Hello, David Nassin here. I'm going to go over the lymph node classifications level 1 through level 7 based on the article listed here by Som, Curtin, and Mancuso, published in 1999. In general, these different levels will be separated by the anatomical boundaries of certain structures, generally the posterior or the inferior margins. I'll be using both the left and the more heavily labeled right sides of this image for these descriptions. So starting with level 1, we have level 1a, the submental region, and level 1b, the submandibular region, and those two subregions are divided by the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. Level 1 is separated from level 2 by the posterior border of the submandibular gland, and level 2 itself is separated into the more anteriorly located level 2a and level 2b, and those two are separated by the posterior border of the internal jugular vein. Level 2 and level 3 are separated by a horizontal line drawn at the inferior margin of the hyoid bone. Level 3 and level 4 are separated vertically by another horizontal line drawn at the inferior margin of the cricoid cartilage. The posterior border of level 2b and 3 is the posterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, but when we get down to level 4, it also includes the posterior border of the anterior scalene muscle. The anterior border of level 3 and 4 is the internal or common carotid artery depending on where you are in the neck. Level 5 is the posterior triangle of the neck and is separated into levels 5a and 5b by another horizontal line at the bottom of the cricoid cartilage which is the same border between levels 3 and 4. The anterior border of level 5a is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and for level 5b is either the sternocleidomastoid or the anterior scalene muscle. The posterior border of level 5 is the trapezius muscle, and the inferior border is the clavicle. Level 6 is located in the anterior neck, inferior to the hyoid bone, and anterior to the carotid arteries. Level 7 is separated from level 6 by the superior border of the manubrium of the sternum, and is located between the right and left common carotid arteries. And finally, here we have all the anatomical structures on the left side of the image that define the lymph node levels and the lymph node levels themselves on the right side of the image. For a really nice visual representation that you can scroll through showing how this lymph node classification is used, I suggest you head over to the Radiopedia site that I have linked below. Notice that levels 4 and 5 are subdivided further than I described and there are additional levels that I personally have not seen in clinical use. All right, here we have the CT scan of somebody with a lot of cervical lymph nodes, and this is how we put that knowledge into practice. Anterior belly of the digastric, medial to them, we have two level 1A lymph nodes. We have level 1B lymph nodes lateral. Here's the submandibular gland. Posterior to that, we have level 2A, very large level 2A lymph node. Then we find the internal jugular vein. Posterior to that are level 2B lymph nodes. A lymph node that is not behind that line is considered 2A. Level 2B continues to the posterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. As we scroll inferior to, here's the hyoid bone. Once we're below the hyoid bone, then we're in level 3. So again, we are not in front of the carotid artery, and we're not behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle. These are lymph node level 3. Continuing down, we are going to, there's the thyroid cartilage. This is the cricoid cartilage, so when we're behind, or rather below the cricoid cartilage, these are going to be level 4 lymph nodes, pretty sizable on this side. Level 5 lymph nodes in the posterior triangle are behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle and in front of the trapezius muscle, so these are level 5A lymph nodes. And we get down to level 5B when we're below the cricoid cartilage, so these few lymph nodes down here are in level 5B. Level 6 is in the anterior portion of the neck. This lymph node right here is kind of on the border between level 4 and level 6, but probably would be considered level 4. And then level 7 is going to be inferior to the manubrium of the sternum and between the carotid arteries, which uh, doesn't give us a very large space in this patient. The sagittal reconstruction can be helpful in regard to the inferior border of the hyoid bone and the inferior border of the cricoid cartilage. And that's it. I hope you find lymph node levels a little more straightforward.